Now I want to hand it over to the president of Ukraine, who has as much courage as he has determination. Ladies and gentlemen, President Putin. President Putin. He's going to beat President Putin. President Zelensky. I'm so focused on beating Putin, we got to worry about it. Anyway, Mr. President. I'm better. Well, there you go. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yeah, thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Four pay four. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Ken, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Man, I've seen a quote that says, don't underestimate the ability of Joe Biden to fuck things up, unquote. And that's from Barack Obama, mm -hmm. his bestie, his best friend. <laughs> now, you guys, the only reason why Barack Obama chose Biden as a running mate was for, well, for two things. He needed the votes from the union and for insurance. Before there was a Kamala Harris, there was a Joe Biden. Joe Biden's an idiot. Everybody knows that by now, even Robin Williams. We still have comedy, though. We still have great comedy out there. There's always rambling Joe Biden. What the fuck? Joe says shit that even people with Tourette's go, no. No. What is going on? Joe is like your uncle who's on a new drug and hasn't got the dosage right. I'm proud to work with Barack America. He's not a superhero, you idiot. Come here. Yeah, no, that's the only reason Joe Biden was chosen as a VP. Only to make sure nothing happens to Obama. Don't try and impeach him and don't try to take him out. Because you're going to have... Joe Biden as a president. And I've done some dumb things, and I'll do dumb things again. Uh, Joe Biden should never have been president because of the Democrat Party. I'm not talking about, you know, stolen election, none of that. We're talking about the Democrats rigging the party, rigging the primaries to put, uh, uh, first it was supposed to be Bernie Sanders in 2016. They rigged it, they paid him off, and Mr. Bernie Sanders got a beachfront property in Vermont because of it. But 2016 was supposed to be the year for Bernie Sanders. He had the crowd. He had the enthusiasm. He had the young folks. And they chose to go with Hillary Clinton. And we know what happened with that. 2020 come around, the exact same thing. Bernie Sanders and his Bernie bros was getting bigger crowds, just as big as Trump. So Trump had the older folks. Bernie Sanders had a younger folks, but the Democrat Party did not want Bernie Sanders in there because they could not control him. He was he was a renegade. He wanted to do his own thing. He wanted to be a socialist. So they chose not to have him in there. They went to James uh, Clyburn of South Carolina. He had a famous catfish fish fry over there and urged the black folks to get behind Joe Biden. And once he won South Carolina... All the other candidates start dropping off and making sure that Joe Biden won the primary. It was supposed to be the year for Bernie Sanders. Even now, 2024, the, the, the primaries was rigged for Joe Biden to win. They had no challengers except uh, um, RFK, Robert Kennedy, and you see what happened to him. They put him off the ballot and they made sure that he couldn't challenge uh, Joe Biden. That's why he went third party. So the Democrat party, the party of democracy and all that, they rigged it to make sure they put their guy in. And that was 2016, Hillary Clinton, 2020, Joe Biden, 2024, Joe Biden. So this is all for you. You deserve everything that you're getting right now. This whole presidency has been a lie. Everything that comes out this mouth has been a lie. 
Don't believe a word that they saying. From Russia, Russia, Russia hoax, the uh, Ukraine and Russia conflict, it's all been a lie. The most disturbing part about this is when um, Joe Biden had his fundraiser in California, hosted by George Clooney, they get on there, they're laughing it up and giving money. And at the end of the night, we see Joe Biden stuck on stage and Mr. Barack Obama had to go out there and escort him off stage. Now that everybody saw that, they went to the spinster, Corinne Jean-Pierre, and asked her about it. And she says this. Let's not forget, President Obama, President uh, Biden have a relationship. They are friends. They're like family to each other. And I think that's what you saw. Uh, you saw the president put his hand behind the, on the back of, of uh, President uh, uh, Biden, and, uh, and they walked off the stage after after uh, taking questions uh, or in a, at an event taking questions from Jimmy Kimmel. That is, that is what you saw. But I would refer you to President Obama's uh, office statement. They talked about this, they discussed this, and they came out with it pretty, pretty quickly. All right. Yeah, so that's a cheap fake. Everything's a cheap fake, everything's a lie. It's a right-wing conspiracy. Don't believe what your eyes see. And now, after the debate, George Clooney comes out with a statement. Top Hollywood stars who previously backed the president are now also suggesting Biden step aside, including George Clooney, who headlined that fundraiser with the president just a few weeks ago. Now, in a new op-ed, Clooney is writing, quote, the Joe Biden I was with three weeks ago at the fundraiser was not the Joe big expletive deal Biden of 2010. He wasn't even the Joe Biden of 2020. He was the same man we all witnessed at the debate. Now, no, 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 sir. No, sir. That's your candidate. No, sir. You cannot renege now. You know, we were talking about it. and Y'all covered for him, lied for him. And now that everybody see that the emperor has no clothes, now you want to put some clothes on him. No, sir. No, sir. That's your candidate. You will have to live with this. Now, George Clooney and Barack Obama are close buddies. Biden and Barack Obama are not friends. Now, here's an example right here. Biden has a White House shing ding over here, and nobody's paying him attention. Look at this guy. He's walking around by himself. Nobody is giving him no love at all. Even his VP is ignoring him. She's laughing it up all but with Obama. And now he comes over here and try to get Barack Obama's attention and Barack Obama, you can see him shunning him, ignoring Joe Biden. Everybody sees this. And it is clear that when George Clooney put out this statement, it was directed by Obama. Biden does withdraw from the race. Replacing him at the top of the ticket could be chaotic. But here's what a top Biden fundraiser and longtime supporter George Clooney said about that in his op-ed this morning. Would it be messy? Yes, dem democracy is messy. But would it enliven our party and wake up voters who long before the June debate had already checked out? It sure would. The short ramp to Election Day would be a benefit for us, not a danger. Now, we all can make an assumption that this letter from George Clooney came from the direction of Barack Obama, and everybody can see it, even Joe Scarborough from the morning show can see it. I will say one thing that we do have to underline here, just so, so viewers can, can follow what's going on behind the scenes, is, is the Biden campaign and many Democratic officials do believe that Barack Obama uh, is, is quietly uh, working behind the scenes uh, to orchestrate this. Um, and if Joe Biden believes that, that's not going to get him out of the race any faster. Anytime David Axelrod attacks him, David Axelrod ensures that Joe Biden will dig himself in another day. I mean, that's any, any, anytime saying. the pod bros uh, say something nasty about Joe Biden, which they they have repeatedly said nasty things about Joe Biden, before the debate, after the debate, um, 
Every time they do that, he digs in a little bit further. The, the, the pathway to Joe Biden graciously stepping aside does not go through the Obamas or the Clintons. It just doesn't. Again, as I said, because some people don't understand, I'm not talking about what ought to be. I'm talking about what is. Now, Joe Scarborough don't know what to say. He's trying to compute because he just figured out that Obama has stabbed Joe Biden in the back. And he's trying to figure it out. I thought it was your buddy. I thought that was best buds. But no, no. It's about power. And Joe Scarborough don't know what to do. He can't blame this on the Republicans. He can't blame this on, on Trump. He just got to eat it. He just got to eat it. Joe Biden is deeply resentful of, of his treatment under uh, not only the Obama staff, but also the way he was pushed aside for Hillary Clinton. He's deeply resentful of those trying to shove him out of the way. He's always felt like an outsider always felt like people have looked down upon him. And that's why I said at the top of the show, and people who know him best say, the only people that can talk to him are Nancy Pelosi, Ted Kaufman, Chris Dodd, John Kerry, Ron Klain, uh, of course, Jim Clyburn, uh, and and members of the Biden and family. Me, hold on. And he made a very poignant point that, you can't push Joe Biden out. Only person that can push him out is maybe Nancy Pelosi. But you trying to strong arm him, Obama, he's not going to do it. He's not going to do it. And I love it. I hope he stays till at least July 21st. And if you stay in and Trump is elected and everything you're warning about comes to pass, how will you feel in January? I feel as long as I gave it my all and I did the goodest job as I know I can do. That's what this is about. And Joe Biden is like, fuck it. If I lose, I lose. But you're not going to push me out. And I love it. You go, Joe. You stay in there. You stay in to the end. Stand on business. All right? You retarded ass. <laughs> if you guys got any value on my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And... Tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And <laughs> you liberals, <laughs> get off my lawn. <laughs>